Well, as a parent, you may be thinking about the worst case scenario, but you're never fully prepared for it to actually happen. Yeah, and Golden, one dad's quick thinking saved the life of his little boy after a deadly encounter with a large rattlesnake. Karen Morfitt is your reporter for Jefferson County, and today she spoke to that 11 year old and his dad. It's not too bad, but the swelling has definitely gone down. 11-year-old Ethan Bogle can say that now, that the rattlesnake bite to his chest is healing. But Dad Zach says it's far from where they were. You're thinking, it's like, I could lose him right here. What can I do to keep that from happening? Tuesday, they hit North Table Mountain on their mountain bikes. Took this photo from the top at about 6.30, just before Ethan got caught up on a rock. I think I tripped over my own foot and then just landed in a kind of a bush. And I just saw it. And then I just felt a sudden sting. Dad, a few feet behind, saw him oh, yeah. pop up so and then saw this. blood on his shirt. Then I heard the rattle and then I looked down and saw the snake there. And at that point it was like, call 911. All they could do was wait. My mission was just to keep his heart rate down and keep him comfortable. So I knew that we couldn't move. So my face started to turn numb, uh, my fingers and toes. Um, my legs and arms were fine. 19 minutes would pass. We were just talking like stay positive, good thoughts and deep breaths. Zach, a fitness trainer, says ice baths are part of his work, something Ethan has done before and likely helped him control his breathing until help could arrive. Well, I'm as proud as any dad could ever be. I just listened to him the whole way because he told me to take deep breaths, hope for the best. They would make it off the mountain but not out of the woods. On the way to the hospital, Zach says Ethan's heart rate spiked. At that point, it's like I'm looking at this little body and I'm like, I saw it as high as 177. He would end up in ICU at Children's Hospital, 16 vials of anti-venom later, and Ethan would finally turn the corner. It's getting there. The pain has died down. Just three days since that ride, he's now home, surrounded by family, friends, and already back on that bike. Dropper post, good suspension. The experience one they'll never forget, and a story they're sharing, hoping it will be a guide for others. We're blessed just to know that, like, okay, this is a, this is a great end result, like as best as you can hope for. And at that moment of, like, bite and phone call, you just don't know. Now that anti-venom, we're told, costs thousands of dollars, so friends of the family have started an online fundraiser page to help with those unexpected medical costs. We have more information about how you can help online at cbscolorado.com. In Golden, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.